Andrew Tate. He is viewed by some as a social media influencer. Businessman. Former professional kickboxer. And a voice of inspiration for millions of young people around the world. And by others as a bastion of toxic masculinity and misogyny. Don't buy a house. Rent a house. Regardless of what you might think about Andrew Tate, one can't deny the indubitable fact that he has an unorthodox perspective on property law. Just stick around to the end of this video while I analyze his perspective from a legal standpoint. so much to say for renting because when you rent you have flexibility yeah true i think that flexibility if we're talking about the attention economy and we're now living in a world where things are changing so rapidly think of how different the world was 10 years ago yeah I'm ironically while most people are trying to own properties and avoid being a tenant andrew tate on the other hand said that he rather to rent a property than to have his name on the legal title as the owner. And rent, boom, boom, boom. I ain't got nothing tying me down. It ain't gonna take years for me to buy or sell something. I ain't gonna worry about all the upkeep and property maintenance. Buying a house is foolish. One of the advantages that one can derive from renting a property is flexibility. Renting offers more flexibility compared to buying. Renters have the freedom to move to different location or property easily without the constraint of selling a property or dealing with mortgage arrangements. This flexibility can be particularly beneficial for individuals like Andrew Tate who frequently relocate for work or prefer not to be tied down to a specific geographical location. The reason humans are the number one species on the planet is because of our adaptability, the ability to adapt. I can go anywhere on earth. I can go wherever the money is, where the money resides. If the money is residing in Japan, I can go to Japan. If I need to go to Singapore, I can go to Andrew Tate is correct on some points. For example, renting a house can be advantageous compared to buying a house for several reasons. And understanding the UK property law can provide a legal analysis for such a comparison. With regards to the UK, UK law, as you can recall, I made mention of the fact that a lease creates an estate inland and grants statutory protection. And a license is merely permission granted to do something, for example, to occupy or use the land. Equitable leases, on the other hand, usually result from a binding contract between the landlord and the tenant that has not been put into effect by a deed. Furthermore, any lease for more than three years must be by deed if it is to take effect as a legal estate pursuant to Section 52 of the Law of Property Act. It is important to note that when someone rents a property, the rental agreement 
can either be a lease or a license. Let's talk about renting properties because, as you know, Andrew Tate loves to rent. And rent, boom, boom, boom. I ain't got nothing tying me down. Rental properties are often located within communities or complexes that offer amenities such as gym, swimming pools, and communal areas. These facilities may be financially inaccessible or logistically challenging for homeowners to maintain, making renting an attractive option for those who desire such amenities. For more, renting can protect against potential fluctuations in the property market. Owning a property exposes own homeowners to risks such as declining property values or unexpected repairs, which can have financial implications. Also, the maintenance and repairs. In the UK, landlords are generally responsible for the maintenance and repairs of the rented apartment, subject to certain terms outlined in the tenancy agreement. This relieves the tenants from financial burden and time-consuming tasks associated with property upkeep. Additionally, tenants can request repairs or maintenance from their landlords, ensuring that the property remains in a habitable condition. Makes renting more financially accessible, especially for those who may not have the significant savings or stable income. It ain't going to take years for me to buy or sell something. I ain't going to worry about all the upkeep and property maintenance. Buying a house is foolish. In addition to the flexibility, renting typically requires a lower upfront cost compared to buying a house. When renting, tenants usually pay a security deposit and the first month's rent. While purchasing a property involves a substantial down payment, closing costs, and ongoing mortgage payments, we focused primarily on the advantages of renting a property. In part three, we will discuss the disadvantages associated with renting versus buying and owning your own property. Until next time, stay safe.